I'm Reverend Dr Kim Wacey and I'm Associate Priest here at St Chrysostom's Manchester. Louise was a remarkable and inspirational member of the congregation here um, and not only here within the church but also nationally within the Church of England. Um, she was certainly one of the first, if not the very first, black church warden, female church warden in the country um, and that was here at St Chrysostom's back in the 1970s. Um, as well as that, she served as a member of General Synod, which is uh, the governing council for the, for the church nationally. Um, so she represented Manchester there, again as a member of this church. And more locally, she served on the PCC of this church, that's the decision-making body that helps run this church for this community. Um, she was also uh, a church governor at the local school um, and, and had a huge impact there in supporting the lives of our local children um, and education here as well. So a, a huge number of, of roles of responsibility in that sense in the church nationally and, and locally here but also on a weekly basis she was so much a part of the life here um, as church warden and, and as an everyday member she welcomed everybody who came through the doors she was part and parcel of every aspect of life here um, and I know you know right down to the sorts of nuts and bolts of things at the end of every week when we'd had our tea and coffee together and people had gone off home it would be Louise that would first grab the brush and start sweeping up all, all the crumbs from the floor you know it was a she was an incredible woman of, of immense service um, at every level from, from the very highest levels uh, right down to that sweeping up and taking care of, of the building and of the people here and that that's an incredible example to us all isn't it I think Louise was a great inspiration to me as a young woman in the church and um, I know from her life example how much prejudice she had had to deal with and have the strength and resilience and, and the internal faith to overcome um, and to stay steadfast and, and in a life of service throughout all that people could throw at her really through that. And that's a great inspiration to me. You know, I started out as a very young woman in the church, wasn't necessarily the most equal of institutions and, and still isn't always. Um, and I think her example inspires me to keep going and has helped me over the years. Um, all the, the huge number of things she did in the local community to change things, to really make a difference, um, I think a, a great inspiration to, to all women and to all people of colour. Lots of different ways I think Louise's legacy lives on. Um, she helped this church to be part of a really radical um, and sort of confident to, to make a difference, to show that things can be done in a different way. And this church continues to be a place of huge inclusion where everybody that steps through the door is welcome, no matter what differentiating, differentiating characteristics they may ha might have. Um, everybody is a part and parcel of life here. And I think that's, you know, Louise is very much stands in that tradition and helped shape the church in that way. And that continues today. So lots of the work that we do in the community, particularly at the moment, we have a project working with victims of human human trafficking um, and we uh, provide opportunities for them to increase their English and encourage their self-esteem and be involved in the community. Um, I think things like that Louise would be really pleased to see still taking place here today. I think her many, many, many years of service in this place were a huge beacon of light. Um, and so it's really fitting that actually the lighting that we have in the chancel here at church at the front, that's been put in in memory of Louise. Um, and I think sort of that, that symbol of light, Louise as, as a beacon of light to us all, as a beacon of light in the community and a beacon of how things can be different and how we can all be part of that change. Um, and to have that light lighting in the church now is, is a wonderful sign of that.